Hey guys, it's me, 80s Wolf of Wars. Today, guys, we're going to talk to you guys about Real Madrid versus Barcelona. El Clasico preview, guys. Oh boy, here we go again. So, let's go ahead and look from a Barcelona point of view first, before I even discuss Real Madrid. Coming into this game, as a Barca fan, I'm not confident whatsoever. We've just lost our last two games against Manchester United and Almeria, respectively. And to make things even worse, Barca even have players injured. Dembele will not be available for this game. Pedro won't be available. Lewandowski won't be able available for this game. And it just makes me wonder the question, what will Xavi even do? That's also another concern for me is that will he rotate as a team for the um, game against Valencia? Because he's always stated that the league is his main priority. And if it is his main priority, this game in theory, we should not even play our best 11. But you just never know with Xavi in particular. You just never know. You know, coming to this game, there's a lot of and negative, a lot of skepticism coming into this game. A lot of uh, vi bad vibes coming into this game for Barca fans. If you're a Real Madrid fan, you're loving this game. This is probably coming at the best possible time for you because Real Madrid are coming to this game in imperious form. Just winning the Club World Cup, and then thrashing Liverpool midweek and at Anfield. And then even though they did tie against Atletico Madrid at home, they still were able to get the positive result. They were still able to get the draw that they needed. And even though it wasn't quite the win that they were hoping for, they still got a positive result. And, you know, and they're only seven points behind Barcelona La Liga. And El Clasico is coming up in the league in around three weeks' time. So for Real Madrid, you're, you're, you're loving your chances right now. You're loving your chances right now. And despite the injuries to, like, Rodrigo and, I believe, to Chemi, um, and Alaba as well, I believe, um, Real Madrid are coming to this game as clear favorites. Clear, clear, heavy favorites. And for Barca, man, the big dilemma for Xavi is who's going to be starting that attack? Because I think the defense and the midfield is pretty much already solidified. And I think the big question for Xavi is who's going to start in the attack now. Because with Lewandowski out, he's going to have to figure out a solution. So this is a this is what I would do if I was Xavi. But knowing Xavi, he's going to probably do something different. I would actually play left wing Ansu Fati for this game. Striker, I would actually put Ferran Torres. And right winger, I would put Rafinha. I know many of you guys are probably wondering, Ansu Fati, right? The reason I say Ansu Fati is because I think he has a great goal scoring record against Real Madrid. And the issue is that I just don't really feel like Gavi and the wing is really, it's just, I just, I feel like we're wasting his position, you know? And so I'd much rather just see Gavi in the midfield than the attack. As for a score prediction, guys, I'm very, very nervous for this game. Very, very worried. I don't think Barca's attack will click on the day. And you can see how much Pedri and Lewandowski are really miss, especially Pedri. Pedri is so, so important to this team. And I think we're going to deeply, deep, deeply miss this. Uh, I'm going to go with Real Madrid to win. I think Real Madrid is going to win this game. I think Real Madrid comes into this game in good form. Alvaro Rodriguez scored a great goal against Atletico Madrid to equalize. And I, I could see, you know, maybe the likes of Vinicius stepping up in this game. And the likes of, you know, um, you know Valverde. So I'm going to actually say Real Madrid wins this game two goals to nil. I think Vinicius and Valverde will score the goals. And, um, yeah, that's going to be my match pred uh, prediction, guys. So I hope I get, I'm wrong, guys. Um, I'll do a match reaction on Thursday live right after the game. So I hope I can see you guys there. And it should be very interesting to see what happens. So hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below of this. Give me your score predictions in the comments section below. Guys, if you're new on here, consider that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.